What's up, what's up? What's going on, family? Good morning. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope we had a great weekend. Um, yeah, my encouragement that I want to talk about today is that sometimes we have different stuff that's on our heart and on our mind, and we go to God and we pray about it, and we're looking for that answer, like the definitive yes or no. Like, should I do this? Should I not do this? And one of the things that I've learned on my journey uh, with my walk with Christ is that um, we have to trust our discernment because our discernment comes from the Lord, from reading the word, being in constant relationship with God, is that we know the things that we should and we shouldn't do. And we have to trust that whatever decision that we go with, that God is with either way. Even if we go with something and we're like, I don't know if I should do it, but go with your discernment. Because once we go to our discernment, that means that we're relying on the, the, the experiences that we had in our past, the decisions that we made from our past, the confirmation that God has gave us in the past, um, the, the wounds that we've had in the past, the, the triumphant moments in the past. We would go back and flash back to those moments to say like, okay, is this situation gonna, gonna render any positive fruit? Any fruit, They're not even positive, but it, just fruit. And if we know that that situation will bring forth fruit, then we know at the end of the day that that's the opportunity that we should go for, that we should put our, our name in the hat. That's the opportunity that we should look back and say, okay, you know what? Like, let me go ahead and do this because I've weighed out the pros and the cons. I've seen what the the good of it will be. I've seen what the bad of it will be. And then from there, you make that discernment to say, this is the opportunity that you want to do, whatever it may be, the decision rather than the opportunity. And I just wanted to come out here to give you that encouragement because you might be in limbo of saying like, man, I've been praying to God for weeks. I don't know what it is that I should do. I relate it similar to me. If you're a parent, you you know how it is. Like your kids can ask you for something and you know that they know how to do it. So instead of you giving them the answer, you just kind of wait and allow them to do it themselves. Like for instance, with our oldest daughter, she's in that phase where she wants to do everything by herself. She wants to figure everything out. So like, for example, like putting on her shirt, you know, she'll say, daddy, I want your help, but I'll, I'll kind of take my time on coming to help her because I know that she can do it. Same thing with putting on her shoes. In the beginning, it was like, daddy, help me. I'm putting on everything for her, but now I can stand back, go ahead, left foot, right foot, because she knows how to do it. So that's what I'm saying. So sometimes God puts us in that place where he's the father that he is, where he stands back and says, you know exactly what you have to do. You know it, trust your discernment. You you got the tools, the resources to do it. And most importantly, he's already blessed us with the Holy Spirit that lives and dwells inside of us. The same power that raised Christ from the dead is inside of us, Romans 8, 11. Like, so at the end of the day, whatever it is that we wanna go after and do, we can do it, not because of ourselves, not because confidence in ourselves but the confidence that we have in God that's inside of us. So that's my encouragement to go forward with it. Whatever it is that's on your heart, trust your discernment. Your discernment will let you know to do it or to not do it. And be confident after you make your decision. Do not look back and reflect and say, why didn't I do this? Or I should have did this. I should have, could have, would have. No, be strong, stand on your, on your decision that you make and know that God is with you throughout the way. So that's my encouragement. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, to God be the glory. Remember, 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 keep God first and the rest will fall into place. Love is love. Peace.